I'm doing the marathon that I'm gonna run. So um, I'm gonna run a marathon tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up, but it's currently a Saturday night and I'm gonna run it Sunday. Um, so it's the Mount Laguna Marathon. Um, so usually it's like an actual race, but um, this year it's like virtual because they had to cancel it due to coronavirus. So um, they kind of just like, they you, you just run any time in November, whenever's convenient for you. And you like give, submit your time and they like track it. And so um, my goal personally in this race, which will be starting um, probably around like 11 to 12 sometime, I'm not sure exactly. It would depend on how the morning goes for us. But um, so I'm, I'm hoping to finish a little uh, under six and a half hours. I'm not sure what the time is exactly. I'll have to check. But um, so there's a kid that did it a few years ago. Um, so I'm 12 right now. The kid was 13 when he did it. And I think his time was about six and a half hours. We're going to check what the official time was so I know. But I want to beat it so I can kind of be like in front, even though we're not the same age. I just, I kind of want to beat his time. Um, and now I'll show you guys kind of all the um, equipment that we have for this. So um, there's a lot of stuff because a marathon's very like major and you need to prepare for it a lot. It's only like one in like hundreds of people can run. So like you have to do a lot of preparations, but um, I have this jacket, which is just for if it gets cold because since we're gonna start at like around noon, for by the time we are finishing, because of the time of year, it's already going to be getting dark. The sun will probably have set, so it's going to start getting cold, especially since it's in the mountains. But um, here we just have a change of clothes if our clothes get too sweaty or if they're like getting uncomfortable. Here we have bags to carry drinks, like items, like my iPad so I can film, and just things we'll need during the race. Quick to go to. We have a bag of chips here which is helpful when you're running. And my dad's glasses. We have some of his shirts, his shorts, his socks. He has um, these buffs too. So you put them around your neck. Um, you like put it on, there's like a hole right there. Um, you put it around on top of your head, on around your neck. And um, the buff is like to keep you getting, um, keep you from getting a sunburn on your neck because the sun gets pretty bad during the daytime. We have some hats, we have socks. These are toe socks right here. So um, these um, you wear to prevent get it yourself from getting blisters because if you run for like a long time, your toes, they might start like rubbing against each other and that'll create a blister. And that makes it hard to run because it hurts really bad. So these, they have like one little thing for each of your toes. So it like separates it so you don't get a blister. Um, we have flashlights for in case we like start late or if it's like we take longer than we expected and it gets too dark we have all these um um things nutritional things to kind of help us we have stinger energy chews really recommend those they're really helpful there's these mama chia um blackberry um squeezes which are also really helpful we have some pickle juice which um really helps when you're doing long distance running, it prevents you from getting cramps. Um, we have Glide here. Um, we have some sports jelly beans, which also help out. Here's some more bags of the stuff. We have toe caps, which is like to prevent yourself from like stubbing your toe, I guess. Um, there's a uh, new skin. I'm not sure what I need that, but in case we get like a blister or something. You know, there's just all this stuff. And here we have my our shoes. So I think I'm gonna start the race in these shoes which are six and a halfs, and then if they, if my feet, like, if my feet, your feet, um, if you run a really long time, they kind of start to swell up because, um, they just, like, spread out from all the constant, like, stress, you know, and you keep stepping, like, this is, like, a good, like, maybe, I don't know exactly, but I'm, I'm gonna guess, like, many thousand steps that we're gonna be taking, so, um, they kind of swell up a little bit, they, like, spread out a bit, it sounds pretty gross, but, um, so they get like a little bit bigger because they're more flat and so you need a bigger shoe. So we have size sevens here for, um, at mile 16, if like, if I need to, I'm gonna change my shoes into these. Um, if you guys didn't know, a marathon is 26 miles. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all. Um, th there's kind of gonna be a little series for this, I think. It's gonna be like multiple parts. 
there, it's going to range from like five to ten parts. It's going to be us doing intro, us having breakfast, us like getting there, getting our stuff ready, us during the race, starting, finishing, like the process afterwards. So there are going to be a lot of parts to it, but this is just part one of me like previewing and showing you guys all the stuff that you need if you're going to run a marathon. And yeah, um, part two should be coming out pretty shortly. I'll see you guys there.